Well, for some people that want to come up with ideas, this is actually uh, a flip I did for the DMX, what these bitches want, right? R.I.P. So I'm like, I'm bored. Let me let me see. I chose this one because it's relatively simple. So, um, yeah, check it out. You guys that know the record, this is what it sound like. See, now I was like, no, that's a dope idea, right? So I'm like, what if I try to flip it? You know, what if I try to flip it and make it into another another beat? Okay, now this is the other uh, version I did. It's actually like kind of like a drill type. Same sample. Now watch, hold on. Hey. You can take a sample and, you know, put in a different tempo. You can change it up however you want to do it. The whole point of this video is to tell people and, you know, myself, because I'm always a student to the game, is that you can take a sample and flip it around. It doesn't have to be the set tempo it already is. Like, if you find a sample at 95 BPM, it doesn't have to be 95 BPM or it doesn't have to be 92, like close to it. You could just completely rearrange it, stretch it out, replay it. And you, you got to step out of that comfort zone because me, see, for me, I didn't originally think. Let me try to make a drill type beat out of this DMX sample. And I ended up loving it. And I put up this beat a while ago on my IG story. I'm like, which beat do you like better? Do you like the hip hop version or you like the drill? And obviously everybody said the drill version. Don't be afraid to take chances and come, come out of your comfort zone and, and just make new ideas because, you know, those, those type of ideas, the ones that you don't expect are always the ones that come out on top. I'm going to finish up the drill one because it seemed like everybody wants to see how that one will come out. So um, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what else you guys want me to do. Peace.